In this lecture, we are going to perform the default installation of a Visual Studio Code without adding anything in our files. And uh, note that uh, these installations are for those of you who are using Visual Studio Code. If you are using Visual Studio or another IDE, you don't need the same installations as I am doing here. In order to compile and debug c -sharp code inside VS Code, we need to install some extensions. So what we are going to do is uh, we just head over to the extension tab and uh, search for c -sharp. Then we want to install c -sharp, uh, for Visual Studio Code powered by OmniSharp. And this provides us development tools for .NET Core, c -sharp editing support including syntax and intelligence, definitions, find all references, and debugging support as well. So we install this extension before doing anything with the codes. It uh, might take a couple of minutes to complete the installation. Now, after completing the installation or on the way of installation, if you find any message for selecting a theme, uh you just uh, choose your theme for me i already selected default dark theme for my visual studio code that's why i didn't get that message but you might get the message if you are installing this thing first time so if you get the message for selecting theme you can choose any one like default dark or any other one from the drop down menu now here there is another pop-up messages required assets to build and debug are missing from alumni app so it is asking do you want to add them i am gonna select yes but if any of you miss it or click it with the wrong selection don't worry about this you can do this other way you can go to the view then you can click command palette then from you write asset and you see it is the generate assets for build and debug so by clicking this you can do the same thing as i did from the pop-up message you can also open this command palette uh, with the shortcut from windows Control shift p and for the mac operating system uh, you use shift command p so like i said if you did miss that prompts then you can always go and click this command palette and install the same thing as I did from the command prompt. So let's continue installing extensions and we need another one that is called a C sharp extensions. So just uh, right here extensions. Now you see there are a couple of things here with the same name. So you click this one and you see the message project no longer under development so that means you cannot use this one so if you go this one you can use this one which is uh, based on the original one and we will move forward and install this this extension just uh, reduces our workload a little bit when working with c-sharp codes for example we can create a c-sharp class inside uh, from the folder like here by right clicking this folder and just uh, add a new class and give a name then you will see you will get uh, one class with this template so it will help uh, with a few other uh, tricks that we will use uh, throughout the course and another extension to tidy things up inside uh, this uh, code is to install an icon theme so let's uh, go to the extensions again and write icon theme. So I'm going to use the material icon theme here. So before installing this one, let's see our folder explorer. So now look at this uh, folder here and you will see after installation this uh, material icon theme, uh, you will get some changes here. Okay, so let's install and select material icon theme. 
so now if you uh, look at the folders and files uh, you will see we get different icons for each of the different files uh, inside our solution so it gives a bit clean visual and uh, looks better